Hello and welcome to Decoding. Today we will look at MX Keys, a smart, stylish and premium low profile keyboard from Logitech. Couple months back we look at the Logitech MX Master 3. If you want to check out that video, please click on the card in the top right corner or click on the link in the video description. In this video though, we will mainly focus on MX Keys keyboard and I will also explain why I think together with MX Master 3, this is the best productivity combo not only for professionals out there, while it still manages to being priced fairly reasonable. Now, MX Keys promises ultra thin premium experience and massive boost in productivity. Well, we will see about that. So should you get one in 2021 or should you wait for a refresh? Let's find out. Logitech MX Keys is yet another product from MX lineup. Logitech also offers Craft Keyboard, which essentially looks like MX Keys but has this programmable dial and it is much more expensive at $199. Currently on sale for $169, but we still don't think it's worth the price. Unless you really need that dial for some specific workflow. MX Keys is priced at $100, which I think is much more reasonable. However, if you want this palm rest, that's another $20 which I think is a pretty steep price for piece of memory foam, regardless. We think MX Keys offers great value for money and this is why. If we look at design, it does, at least in some extent, reminds us of Magic Keyboard from Apple, which is not only more expensive, but also lacks some great features, as we will show you later. This is mainly underlined by the fact that MX Keys is very thin, sleek and premium looking. It is essentially a stripped down version of Logitech Craft, as mentioned before. Keys have a dark tone, which does not only create good contrast between keys and the board, but also makes letters more visible while the backlight is on. Yes, that's right, MX Keys has a backlight keyboard, but more on that later. Now, as I said before, it is a low profile keyboard. It is slightly elevated, but angle cannot be adjusted, which is too bad. Back here, we have a battery together with on and on switch and USB-C port for charging. Keyboard comes with this USB-C to USB-A charging cable and also a unifying receiver. So if you already own MX Master 3, for example, you can just connect connect all your devices via this one dongle. As you can see, corners and even keys on the edges are nice and rounded. Keys are firm and stable. And these round shaped dents in the keys are designed for better ergonomics and I have to say it works very well. Typing on this keyboard is comfortable and satisfying at the same time. Every key feels consistently firm and there is no wobble whatsoever. As you can see, some keys are dual purpose. For example, this one serves as a common key on the Mac and Alt key on the Windows. I personally switch between these two platforms regularly and I find this to be extremely handy. Of course, there's a Mac version available, but that one can be tricky to use with Windows. And it's done really well. I mean, look at this keyboard. Despite how much information it has printed on, it still looks very minimal and clean. As for the build quality, keyboard bends just a little bit while sitting on the desk. Though it can flex a bit if we try really hard, but that shouldn't be a concern since probably in most cases you won't carry it around with you in the backpack. Of course, MX series is not for everyone. Just like MX Master 3, MX Keys is a popular device among creators and professionals. That said, if you, for example, work or study from home, you cannot go wrong with MX Keys. Travel distance is 1.8 millimeters, which doesn't sound as a much, but it is plenty. Tactile feedback is very satisfying. Just listen to this. MX Keys is using chiclet switches and they are simply amazing. Just like MX Master 3, with MX Keys you can quickly switch in between three pair device, no matter if it's Mac, Windows or even iPad. Just like this, super easy, no need going into the Bluetooth settings and pairing up every time you need to jump on another device. Now let's talk about something that really sets apart this keyboard from the competition. And that would be smart illumination. Essentially, every time you approach your keyboard with your fingers, it will illuminate 
communicate thanks to proximity sensors which are built into the frame of the keyboard. Thanks to these sensors, brightness also automatically adjusts based on the current lighting conditions or you can increase or decrease brightness manually using the function keys. Backlit is bright and keys are evenly illuminated across the keyboard. Keys will fade away once you leave the desk in order to save some battery life. Speaking of battery life, MX Keys is expected to last around 10 days with the smart backlit on and 5 months with the backlit off, which sounds rather good. From my experience, 10 days is doable and if you manually turn off keyboard every time you stop using it, you can extend your battery life even further. Thanks to USB-C charging, you will be good to go in no time. As for the gaming, I mean, sure, some people will find MX Keys great for gaming but I would only recommend it for some casual gaming sessions. Of course, if you really want to boost your productivity, whether you are on Mac or Windows, best way to do it, at least according to us, is to combine MX Keys together with MX Master 3. Now, this is purely based on our own experience. We are not being paid or sponsored by Logitech. But yeah, back to the point. These two devices really do work together seamlessly. And all of a sudden, you will find yourself work much faster and more efficiently. If you start combining shortcuts and gestures together, no matter what OS you are on. Logitech Options makes this already great keyboard even better. Obviously, from here you can manage your currently connected Logitech accessories. You can see the current battery life and so on. However, if we click on MX Keys, you can actually remap all the keys which are highlighted. So for example, if I don't want to use this button to show the desktop, let's say, I can change it to go full screen, just like this. You get the idea. You can do even more under more settings, for example, change, well, many things. Anyways, Logitech Options is great and it vastly extends what can be done with your MX keys. So now you should understand why we think MX keys are a better option over Magic Keyboard from Apple. It has backlit, it has a programmable keys, a companion app, it can be used on both Mac and Windows, and it has a better key travel and it is cheaper. So there you have it, a Logitech MX keys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one. Thank you.